when you roll out, you slam on the floor. If the fog clears up, it could be really awesome. What the Everyone thought this was really Three photographers on an adventurous road trip through northern Norway. Steep mountains. Rugged islands. Deep fjords. Perfect conditions for Team Hawkland. After this success at Zegla, we wanted to do another hike. I mean, it was like one hour up, one hour down, relatively steep, and we wanted to do more, yeah? Nice viewing point to the rocks that we've already photographed before. The hike was a bit longer, maybe two hours up, two hours down, but weather was good. Didn't really rain, the sky was cloudy, it was okay, yeah, okay, we were very motivated. It's going to be great. Lucas said the hike will be just as difficult as yesterday. So, yeah, you know what to expect. I'm very curious. The shoes just were dry and clean again. And now we are back on track. The hike started quite nice in a small birch forest. It's a very surreal landscape. Almost looks like Africa or something, as if an elephant is coming out or a lion is waiting back there. But yeah, we need to hike up here. Whew, looks very cool here. There are birches everywhere. Whew, step by step, it goes up. The view is getting better and better. The trees are gone. Now there is only small vegetation with nice red color. And there is one or the other eye catcher. The pass was challenging, but yeah, quite doable. It was a bit exhausting, but yeah, still within our limits. We parked down there. Great view, but we still have a lot to go. <laughs> Rocks ahead. We now arrived at the plateau, a good wind is blowing, almost an hour and a half we walked, but yeah, we made it guys, check out that amazing view, Woo! nice, t-shirt weather, huh? On the way up, we were really pumped because we already had some great views. And yeah, we were hyped for more. The toughest part is done. Our track goes over there. Still not there, we have to go up there and then a little further. <laughs> yeah. And this reminds me of Scotland. Also some sheep running around. But yeah, it's a good hike, good hike. And I've completely lost orientation. Am I up, am I down? Because it's plateau-like all the time. And then you look back and suddenly see, oh, there's a cliff going down, pretty high. Oh, 
almost done. We saw the small island before, maybe you can remember it. It was visible on this Caribbean beach in the distance. And down there is also an amazing beach. Scotland, Africa, Costa Rica, all in one hike. Just before the summit, we grabbed a snack and with the biscuits in our mouth, we talked about how the rising fog could probably ruin the situation. You can't see it, but there is the peak back covered in clouds. And we were motivated, in a good mood. Yeah, we were close, last few meters, maybe 20 minutes left. <laughs> and we saw the summit covered in clouds. And we thought, yeah, maybe it's going away, maybe it's even above the clouds. Yeah, but we were naive. If the fog clears up, it could be really awesome. Now, one more push and we're there. Woo! Guys! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We made it! No, not yet. It will take a moment, but soon. Come on! Just put in some dehaze. Or what else is the slider for? Every hike would have been worth it, even if it would have taken four hours. But yeah, unfortunately, everything turned out different than expected. It started to rain immediately and the visibility was unfortunately completely down to zero. The cliffs were not visible, it was all just white. Nada, nothing, grey clouds, no visibility, it was wet, cold, windy, that's how it was up there after a two hour hike. Uh, we already feared it. We have a little problem with the visibility. But you can at least assume that it could go down pretty deep over here. The floor is super slippery. Careful, better be careful. I'm standing on the edge and behind me it's just white. In front of me, below me, it's white everywhere. You can hear the ocean, but you can't see it. Still we were motivated. We said, let's have a snack, wait, see, maybe it clears up. And we watched the rain radar, and I can tell you, rain radar, in the north you can forget. It rains when it wants to rain, sun shines when it wants to shine, can be like this in five minutes and totally different in another five minutes. Somewhere over there should be the ocean, and there should be a nice beach. We set ourselves a time limit of half an hour now. And this is actually a good tip to set yourself a limit. Yeah, and now let's hope that half an hour is enough. We have not seen anything. For a second we thought it's opening up, but yeah, it didn't. We could only imagine what was underneath. The bag is wet from my backpack, from sweating. And when you're not walking anymore, your body slowly cools down and it gets very uncomfortable. How's the situation? <laughs> yeah, nose is running and it's freezing cold. <laughs> so what's up? Glasses, sometimes I hate it. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing is you have a microfiber cloth in your sleeve. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> yeah, just like this. Guys, what's up? Kalt, nass. <laughs> what up? I'm schwanger with a camera, baby. <laughs> Boah, such a <laughs> Yeah, secretly everyone thought to himself, this is just <laughs> up. This hike, where we invested four hours for nothing, that was <laughs> up. Uh, annoying, the time is almost up. We have given ourselves this half hour limit. We still have five minutes, but it doesn't look like it will get better soon. Ah, uh, not what we wanted. We decided not to wait any longer. It should not be today and it hasn't cleared up. 
sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. That's the truth of landscape photography. Phew, yeah, the way back is similar to a lost boxing fight or a football game. You're a little sad, but yeah, that's the game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It would have been nice if we had been rewarded, but that's how it is. Now we had to go back all the way that we walked up before with a good view, with no visibility, completely foggy, cloudy, with heavy rain from the side. So yeah, that was really, really I can tell you. We've now made about 35% of the way back and it's fog everywhere. That means no view, much rain, my pants are completely wet from the right side, the left side is not wet at all, <laughs> the rain strikes only from that side. Without any orientation we would probably still be around up there. Man, we were so happy when we were back at the car and could empty our shoes. Alright, dry inside. But yeah, the socks are totally wet. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, everything was wet. The equipment was okay, but as we arrived by the car, the mood was, as we say in Germany, in the basement. Yeah, very low. We were joking, but everyone thought, oh, that is just disgusting. And that's just completely normal. This is part of taking photos. Not every day can be a highlight. It's like in life, not every moment can be great. Not every path you take for a photo can also simply give you a great photo at the end. It's just normal. Let's get into the car and call it a wrap. Uh, let's just drive to our next house. I was pretty exhausted. Day three was cool and disappointing at the same time. Yeah, we were dead. We wanted to get out of our wet stuff and just rest. Do you go up there? Because I'm afraid of height. We had the very small cabin and the beds looked pretty dangerous. <laughs> Look at the beds, they're so slim, maybe 70 centimeter. And if you roll out, then you slam on the floor, yeah? No security. One wrong turn and you hit the floor. When falling asleep, better make sure that you lie close to the wall and don't move. Yeah, the bathroom smelled like graveyard because the wet shoes and socks, everything has to dry. We only have underfloor heating, which means we had to put everything on this floor. And we showered last night and the shower is a shower, all the water just runs out. That means we flooded everything and had to dry everything again <laughs> and everything is still wet. Nice. Since we arrived at night, it was already dark and we first saw the view of the fjord in the morning. Wow, that looked awesome! What a view! Today we go to a white beach that should look similar to the Haugland beach, but not at Lofoten. This means we start the day with wet shoes again. But before we could even take pictures, a shock. Look at this tire. I hope that we do not get a flat tire somewhere in the middle of the night. What a m f sh Thanks for watching. 
Have you ever experienced something like this, where things just didn't went as expected? Write it in the comments. And only two more weeks before we close the pre-order discounts for US customers at www.hawkland.us and start regular shipping. Also, you can get your nine Team Hawkland Lightroom presets we created in Norway completely for free as a gift. The link is in the description. And if you haven't seen the latest episode, you can watch it here. And there you can see the next episode when it uploads next Friday at 6 p.m. EDT here on this YouTube channel.